can't do nothing without God. All right. All right. And I thank God today, and I stand here as a proud daughter of my mom because when I had both of my children, I don't know if anybody knows that I had a little girl before, and my mom was with me through all that hard time. When I had my son, and they told me to go home, I said, I ain't going home. I said, I'm staying, and this baby's coming today. They said, no. I acted so crazy. They told me, you gotta go home. And I said, no. I stayed, and they said, did somebody come with you? I said, no. And they said, are you sure? I said, yes. I said, but my mom worked downstairs, and they went and got her. Yeah. And if it wasn't for my mom, I wouldn't have been able to make it, because it was so hard. So I say to all of you today that don't know what it is to be a mother, it's hard. It's not only hard raising a child, but it's also having a child. It's also hard to carry a child because I just knew that they were doing me wrong. Mama had to come for me and tell me, you are right, you are right. I thought they was cutting me down the center and taking everything out. She said, no, they're cutting you across the middle. And I thank God she was there with me because she made me believe. And she was the first one to see my son when he was born. And I thank God. I thank God for everything she did and for being her. She always gave to us before she gave to herself. She was not a selfish mom at all. And I thank God today for her. I thank everybody for being here for my mother. If I start, we'll be here tomorrow, okay? We'll be okay, Claire. I love that lady so much. All right. From my heart. You know. I can't even start, y'all, because I won't be able to eat. You know? And I thank God that she just kept us in prayer and showed how to go to God when there are problems, when you can't bury it, you know? Take it to the Lord. Take it straight to him. Because he's gonna make everything, everything all right. And for another thing, you see this lady here? Another sister, daughter, auntie, friend. But never be forgetting. I promise you in the name of Jesus. It's not talking, really. <laughs> really. <laughs> really. 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 <laughs> really. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> I think everybody's a big, you know what we do. Even though we didn't know what we was wearing, we all coordinated. <laughs> really? So laughing. We all coordinated in flowers. That's how we bloom. But really. <laughs> Thank y'all.
can raise your children and then raise your children's children. You're a super mom. I, I don't want to stay here too long, but I'll also say this, that anytime that you see three of your grandchildren under the age of 21 leave here, and you have to deal with that. That's one of the strengths that she dealt with very well. Not only that, uh, the 60s and the 70s was some turbulent times. But some turbulent times, and it was hard. It was hard to get around. Mrs. Leverson, we love you. I could never say a bad word. I never had a bad word for Mrs. Leverson in 46 years. with all of these problems. You can just imagine a single parent, six girls. Yes. You imagine what she had to go through and she made it. She worked through that. She worked through that, but she really, the really, the, the, the way, she, one of the ways she got through this, she had a super daughter named Mac.
from Indianapolis, and they all, my mama said, they made my day. I said, they made my day. And mama loved all of y'all. Y'all made mama day when y'all came here. Mama always said, take me wherever somebody was sick, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or uh, St. Louis, or Indianapolis. We get in the car and tell y'all mama to see the ones that already passed. And I want y'all to know, I can't even 